Good Saturday morning, everybody. Let's get back on this garden, shall we? Now, what I've got done so far this morning, I started pulling dirt into the potatoes. Got some grass in there, but can't stop grass. Not here. Should be fine as long as I keep that dirt real loose. They're doing pretty good. I should have done this a week ago or more before the rain started. And it's coming again here in a little while. Let's do what I can. But they're coming along pretty nicely. I'm going to throw a little fertilizer in there later today. If I got any, I think I got a bag still. Now I'm starting to clean out the raised beds. Now this is a tough job. Because they uh, set dormant all last year. Didn't even touch them. So they got some pretty serious weeds. And yes, I had to people's going to fuss you don't supposed to spray nothing on them but i had to this year to manage this and that was about three weeks ago i did that and i know it leaves some kind of chemicals in the soil i understand that but you can't get away from that stuff anyway folks buy food in the store i don't care what you buy it's got something in it people believe we're being sprayed by chemtrails you get chemicals in you from that and I'm not saying those people are crackpots at all because I'm not sure I don't I don't disbelieve it and I don't believe it all at the same time if that makes any sense I don't want to believe it put it that way but it would not surprise me at all so I'm gonna take a break after doing this guzzle me about a gallon of water uh, mama's coming out here in a little bit to help me with the rest of them. There's only three, four, five more to go. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm going to plant where yet. I have seed and seed and seed. I've got plenty of stuff. So I did a little video yesterday. And said I'm not going to put that one up. But I'll tell you all, we had another, I had another accident in the shop yesterday. I had one of those cutting boards. I was making me a new grinding jig. I was cutting it on a table saw. And my fault, nobody's fault but mine. And it caught in there and kicked back. Tore my hand up pretty good. Not as swollen now as it was last night. And it come back and hit me in the stomach right across the belly button. Not a bad gash, but bad enough to where it's got a big bandage on it. Sore like you would not believe. That's two accidents in two days in the shop. I blame the other one on that blade. Maybe it was me. I don't know. But I'm taking today in the garden out of the shop. Tomorrow being Sunday, I'm going to rest part of the day. And we're going to continue in the garden out here. Because the place, I had it looking pretty good one time last year. And it's early last year and it's all grown up again. So I've got, I've got to do something with this property. I think I'll rouse the boys out there. One of them, Ricky Jr.'s got a riding mower. I'll get mine out and I'll make them get out here and help me clean this thing up. Oh boy, a lot of work, a lot of work. But once you get it caught up, it's pretty easy to maintain. Dewberries are blooming still. That little tiny berries everywhere. And these are just wild all over the place. And I have to address that monstrosity of a mess over there soon. Blueberries. Got some berries on here. They're looking pretty good. I didn't prune these out last year or this year. See, we still got some blooms. These are the big blueberries. These here. The ones out back are wild. Wild blueberries. We'll look at them later. We always get a few and then the birds get the rest. The pears bloomed, and then we had a frost, so I'm not sure about pears. I mean, they were solid, flowery blooms. And I don't see any, so we may not have pears this year. And I didn't prune this tree back either like I was going to. But all in good time, I'll get it going. Alrighty, I'll show y'all the progress at the end of the day. And I'll be uh, back. Uh, I got you on camera. Yes, my typical bending over butt ones. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, we got a lot done this morning. Three, four of them all the way cleaned out. We were attacked by ants in this one and that end one. So I treated it with ant poison. And we let it sit for a day, maybe two, and finished doing them, finished cleaning them out. Still a little bit longer before it's time to plant, another week maybe. Except uh, maybe some onions. I've got a few, I don't have many. We still haven't decided where we're going to put what. I think we got it figured out. But the pea patch, green beans and okra patch, will, and uh, tomatoes are going to be over here. We're downsizing and not doing that whole entire thing this time. So, that's it. We're going to go sit down and rest. All right, what better way to end the day with getting a box? <laughs> we uh, did a little more in the garden, came in, had lunch. It actually got hot today. It got to 80. Well, hot for this time of year. And fell asleep in the chair, of course. And now it's time to rest some more. <laughs> Let me show you all this box. This is a cool box. Where'd you get that, Tim? Y'all still get this out there? The bottles, 32 ounce bottles. You can't find a quart bottle of beer in this part of the, my world anyway, around here anywhere anymore. Everybody went to them stupid big old aluminum cans. That's cool. And when I was in high school, that was our beer of choice right there in the bottle, quarts or the little bottles. Anyway, this is redwood, which Tim has already cut into handle-sized pieces. Very nice. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is going to be outstanding. Save me time on that table saw, too, that I'm scared of now. <laughs> Alright, I want to show you all that. Let me run in. A uh, male lady brought it sometime this afternoon. It was on the back porch. I'm going to go in, have supper, and either sit back down or lay back now. And we'll work on the garden a little bit more in the morning. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. I'll see you later.